If you've ever looked under your hood and thought, huh, my brake fluid's a little low, I'll just top it off. Stop right there. Because that one helpful move could actually cause more damage than you think. This is the number one brake fluid mistake almost everyone makes. And today, we're breaking down why topping off your brake fluid isn't always safe. Intro transition. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you love quick car tips that can save you time, money, and frustration, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's dive straight into the truth about brake fluid and why a simple top-off might be hiding a much bigger problem. Step 1. What brake fluid actually does Before we talk about mistakes, let's get the basics down. Brake fluid is the lifeblood of your car's braking system. It transfers the pressure from your foot on the pedal, through the brake lines, and into the calipers that squeeze your brake pads. No fluid pressure, no stopping power. It's that simple. But here's where most people get it wrong. Brake fluid doesn't just sit there doing nothing. It's constantly working under high heat and absorbing moisture from the air, even inside a sealed system. That's because brake fluid is hygroscopic which means it naturally attracts water over time. And that's where things start to go wrong. Step two, why people top it off and why it's a problem. Now imagine you open your brake fluid reservoir and the level looks a little low. You think, easy fix, I'll just add a little more. But here's the truth. That fluid didn't just evaporate, it dropped for a reason. As your brake pads wear down, the caliper pistons move further out to compensate. That extra space pulls more brake fluid into the system, making the level in your reservoir drop naturally. So a low brake fluid level is often a symptom of brake pad wear, not a leak or evaporation problem. If you top it off, you're hiding that warning sign from yourself. Then when you finally replace your brake pads, the new pads push the pistons back, and suddenly the brake fluid has nowhere to go. Result? The reservoir overflows. That's how people end up with a messy, corrosive spill all over their engine bay, and brake fluid eats through paint fast. Step 3. The hidden danger of old fluid. Now, even if you don't overfill it, there's another issue. Brake fluid degrades over time, especially as it absorbs moisture. Moisture in your brake fluid lowers its boiling point, that means under hard braking, like going downhill or during a long drive, the fluid can actually boil inside your brake lines. When that happens, you don't get firm pedal pressure. You get a spongy pedal, or worse, complete brake failure. So topping off with fresh fluid on top of old, contaminated fluid doesn't fix the problem. It just masks it, while the underlying fluid keeps getting worse. It's kind of like spraying air freshener in a moldy basement. Smells better for a minute, but the real issue is still there. Step 4. When you should actually add brake fluid. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes topping off is okay. Here's when it is. If you've recently flushed your brake system and it's been properly maintained, and you notice a small drop in fluid level with no visible leaks, then a minor top off to the recommended line is fine. But if you haven't flushed your brakes in a year or two, and that level keeps dropping, it's time for a full inspection, not a quick pour. You might have worn pads, a small leak in a brake line, or even internal corrosion inside your master cylinder, all of which need to be checked, not covered up. Step 5. How to check brake fluid the right way. Okay, let's go step by step on how to safely check your brake fluid. First, park your car on a level surface and pop the hood. Locate the brake fluid reservoir, which is usually a small translucent plastic container near the back of the engine bay, right in front of the driver. You'll see min and max lines on the side. Never open it just to look inside, because every time you open that cap, moisture from the air gets in. Instead, check the level through the plastic. If it's between min and max, leave it alone. If it's close to min, it's okay to monitor it for a week or two but don't rush to fill it. If it drops below the minimum line, that's a red flag. Now it's time to find out why. Step six, the safe way to top it off if you must. Let's say you've confirmed it's safe to add a little fluid. 
Here's how to do it right. Use the right fluid type. Check your owner's manual. Most cars use DOT3 or DOT4, but never mix them. Clean the cap and area before opening. Any dirt that falls in can ruin your system. Pour slowly. Use the funnel or the spout to add just enough to reach the max line, no more. Don't forget to recheck after driving. If the level keeps dropping, that's a sign of a deeper issue. Remember, topping off is a temporary fix, not a maintenance plan. Step 7. The real fix is a brake fluid flush. So what's the real solution? Every car needs a brake fluid flush, typically every two to three years. A flush removes all the old moisture-filled brake fluid and replaces it with clean, fresh brake fluid throughout the entire system. This keeps your brake components lubricated, corrosion-free, and performing at full strength. So if your fluid looks dark or dirty when you check it, that's your sign for a flush. Fresh brake fluid should look light amber or almost clear. If it looks like old coffee, it's time for a flush. Step 8. Why it matters. Here's why all this matters. Brake systems are built on precision pressure. Even a little bit of air, water, or contamination throws that pressure off. Your car might still stop, but your braking distance will increase and your pedal will feel soft or uneven. That can mean the difference between stopping safely or not stopping in time. So what seems like a simple top-up job could actually put your braking system and your safety at risk. Recap the number one mistake everyone makes. Let's do a quick recap. A low brake fluid level doesn't always mean you need to add more. It might mean your brake pads are wearing down. Topping off can hide early warning signs of bigger problems. Brake fluid absorbs water, so old fluid loses performance. The real fix is a brake fluid flush every couple of years, not constant topping off. Conclusion. So the next time you check your brake fluid, remember this. Sometimes doing less is doing it right. Don't just fill it because it's low. Find out why it's low. Because when it comes to brakes, guessing can cost you more than just money. It can cost you safety. If you learned something new today, hit that like button and subscribe for more car care tips. And tell me in the comments, have you ever topped off your brake fluid and regretted it? Thanks for watching. Stay safe, drive smart, and keep your car running right.